I killed a pregnant girl, cut the baby out her womb, and claimed it as my own child. My name is Taylor Parker, and this is my horrific story. It was in January 2020 in Texas when I lived in constant fear, worried that my boyfriend, Griffin, might leave me. Since I couldn't have children after undergoing a hysterectomy, I decided on a horrifying plan. To bind my boyfriend to me, I ordered a fake belly from the internet, which made my body appear as if I were a pregnant woman and pretended to be pregnant for nine months. I created fake ultrasound images, wore maternity clothes, and even held a gender reveal party with friends and family. It was a popular event in the United States, where expectant parents reveal the gender of their unborn child to guests. But in the end, my web of deception had to crumble. One day before the scheduled due date, which I extensively announced on social media, the unimaginable happened. I decided to kill my girlfriend and remove the baby from her womb to pass it off as my own child. Just before my actions, I watched numerous videos on childbirth and cesarean sections on YouTube. It was October 9, 2020, when I visited my pregnant girlfriend, Ryan Simmons Hancock, at her home. The 21-year-old was expecting her second child and was full of excitement, but her joy didn't last long. In an inconspicuous moment, I grabbed a hammer and smashed her skull. Then, I took out a knife and stabbed the girl 100 times while her three-year-old daughter stood shocked beside her. Afterward, I used a scalpel to open the abdomen of my dying girlfriend, remove the unborn baby, and drove to the hospital. Just a few miles from the crime scene, I was apprehended by the police for speeding. I claimed that I had given birth to a child on the side of the road who was no longer breathing. We were eventually taken to a hospital in Oklahoma, where the little girl was pronounced dead. The doctors quickly realized that I couldn't be the mother and had never been pregnant. Consequently, I was immediately arrested, and in the end, the prosecution argued that the crime had been premeditated, citing my extensive research on premature births. To prevent further heinous acts like this, the court sentenced me to death after over an hour of deliberation. During the trial, Simons Hancock's mother referred to me as an evil demon on earth. I was violated by my father and gave birth to this child. I am Elizabeth Fritz. 42 years old. For 24 years, my father imprisoned and abused me. It started when I was 11 years old. We lived in Imstetten, Lower Austria, in a house. Locked in the basement of our house, in a soundproofed cellar, I gave birth to this child. All conceived through the abuse of my father. Throughout those years, he hid my captivity from my family, including my own mother, making them believe I had joined a sect. One of my sons died shortly after birth. Three were raised with me since their birth, and the other three were adopted by my father and mother. They claimed to have found them outside the house with a letter confirming abandonment. It was me who wrote those letters. My father dictated to me what I should write. I was only freed in 2008 after a social services investigation following the hospitalization of my eldest child. On March 16, 2009, my father's trial began and lasted for four days. On March 19, 2009, he was sentenced to life imprisonment.